Hi friends, Sparklet is with you again. Six kilometers from my house is the ski track Smesersils, where the European and World Championships in ski orienteering are taking place today. Let's go see. <laughs> Jan Kaszek is now to Jakub Skoda. This year Latvia is one of the key centers in the winter ski orienteering calendar. One of the largest events of this winter season was held in Madonna for a whole week. European Ski Orienteering Championship World Ski Orienteering Championship among juniors and European Youth Ski Orienteering Championship. I attended the event on February 4th to see what the athletes are doing on the Smesere Ski Run. Today I am in Madvina City in Smesser's skiing trace and uh, the event which happens here for five days is very interesting. It's international uh, orienting skiing competition and different teams from different parts of the world take place in this competition. Uh, it's, it's almost a week people are here, they are living, sporting and uh, since they don't feel cold. This year, teams from 16 countries came to Madonna. Austria, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Estonia, Finland, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Norway, Kazakhstan, Romania, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine, and the United States of America. 120 men and 103 women took part in the competition. I think an exciting uh... We cannot say 100% that Sweden has won. We cannot say that Estonia will take the silver and Switzerland bronze. It depends and it's a very open question. Those four nations, it looks like that other nations like Finland or Switzerland, uh, Switzerland yes, is here, but Finland and Czech Republic losing too much time and it's not possible to regain otherwise. Estonia, Switzerland or Norway must make a huge mistake. The Ski Orienteering World Championships is the official event that awards world champion titles in orienteering. The World Championship is held every odd year. The first Ski World Championship was held in 1975. Well, but ladies and gentlemen, historic medal for Estonian team! Daisy Kudersinde has won three previous disciplines, three medals, three goals for her. But now for the first time, Estonian team in history, in security, takes the medal on the women's side. The first medal, and that's the silver. And an Estonian team we had today. Sweden, Estonia, Switzerland, that's the top of three teams. Zvedri uzva Riga un jūtra anda Šveica trešā vietā. Tā Šveicijas nebija iegūst šeit medaļu sievietē Melitz grupā. Un vakar Dainingi ir bija ceturtā garajā distancē tik tu savai pirmajai medaļai pāris sekundes viņa pietrūk un tagad ar komandas viedaniem viņa izcīt savu pirmo medaļu. Un Igaunija pirmā medaļa kā stafetēs vēsturē. Herko Mednorge pa Fajarri plasu, Ulvensen vārts un nēris pasīstē tapē. Orienteering in Latvia has a long tradition. This year, the Latvian Orienteering Federation is celebrating its 60th anniversary, although the first records for orienteering competitions date back to 1936. <music> This 
year the competitions are held in the Madonna region. The total length of prepared ski slope in the vicinity of the city of Madonna is 100 kilometers. Madonna is a sports and a green region of Latvia with a population of about 22,000 people. Madonna is located in the eastern part of Latvia, 170 kilometers from Riga, the capital of Latvia. We live in an ecologically clean and natural environment in areas protected by the European Union. Madonna is one of the most popular winter holiday regions in Latvia. It's based on the durability of snow and hilly terrarium, as well as ski slopes designed to meet the requirements of both recreation and competition. Ski orienteering is exciting because of its dynamism and brave and capable athletes. They have to make quick decisions in the intricate labyrinths of ski slopes and occasional fast descents. In order for the event to take place, a lot of preparatory work has been done. The races were exciting and technically challenging. In the struggle for victory, the participants had to have a sharp mind and a quick step. Sports organizers of the Sports Integration Center Smetzer Sils can be proud of their experience in organizing Latvian, Baltic, Scandinavian and European and World Championships in cross-country skiing and roller skiing, biathlon and ski orienteering. Czech Republic battling for the fifth place. Yeah, fifth was mixed team, not counted, so Czech Republic will take the fifth place. Last year they had only first two legs with Hlavatsova and Hrastova in those first two legs. Now this year Hlavatsova Hrastova. Ten minutes behind and here comes Finland's athlete. So weather is quite uh, cold here. It's not a sunny day today. Yesterday we had a sunny day and I think sports people were happy about that, skiers. And uh, uh, people came from different parts of the world, many international teams, I will show you. And uh, they live all around here, uh, not only in those big houses, hotels and so on, but they are so provided kind of a mobile houses. You see a little bit behind me. Oh, someone is winning because uh, the moderator talks different languages, sometimes English, sometimes La uh, Latvian, which I understand, but when he starts to speak in Norwegian or Estonian, <laughs> you know, I'm confused, I don't understand, but... Yeah, Finland with uh, Kama, Tuomiston, Hoskari. The city has a remarkable skiing tradition. Since 1960, national cross-country skiing competitions have been held in Madonna. And since 1961, a ski section with cross-country skiing and biathlon programs has been operating in the Madonna Sports School. This sports school has also trained the participants of the Olympic Games in cross-country skiing and biathlon, who have glorified the name of Latvia all over the world.
It's cold day, uh, however, a nice winter day in Madonna. And Madonna is the city not only for dancers but also for sports people. There are many tourist bases and ski bases where you can come to ski or to train yourself. Travelers prefer to visit natural sites and rural tourism enterprises, participate in cultural events and sport events, as well as get acquainted and enjoy the products of local producers. Cheesies, caramels, berry candies, wines and more. I will tell you many more interesting things. Click like and subscribe to my channel. Watch my films and enjoy your life. You're sparkling.